Hey guys, Ben here. I want to take you through some maintenance. I had a request for a maintenance video on the wood gas fire. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and the quarterly. And that's pretty much everything you would want to do. So mostly you want to drain your condensate, any water, anywhere water is collected. You want to drain that. You might get a tiny bit here. Mostly in the cooler on the back is where you're going to get the water condensate. So you want to drain that daily. Then as far as your soot and your weekly cleanouts, what you're going to want to do is take a, like a shop vac, something like this, and you're going to open up this cap, and you're just going to go ahead and, and vacuum around in there. I had this on its side, now we can see that it definitely spilled a lot of char. And so you're just going to go in and vacuum that out. Same with this one. And then as far as your weekly, you want to definitely um, clean out your filter as well. So we come over here. Here's our filter. Obviously you want to fill it with more straw. And then whatever you're using for final filtration that squeezes down in here, you want to just wash this out. Spray with a hose, squeeze it, and rinse it, and you're good to go. So monthly, you're going to want to take graphite lubricant, and anywhere there's thread, just go ahead and put it on. That way everything twists on and comes off nice and easy. You get this down in Napa for 10, 15 bucks. And let me see, and then the check valve, the swing check valve, will get oil build up when you shut this down. Some of the wood oils will kind of push out. And so I just go ahead and I soak this in acetone, and that does a great job. And then quarterly, I like to go through and replace all my seals. Anywhere there's a, a braided seal, I'll put a new one, or we have uh, the sil these silicone seals are, are good to replace as well, if it needs it. If it doesn't need it, um, no, I wouldn't bother with it. And then uh, just to keep rust at bay, I would use uh, just your, you know, paint it up, keep it painted. And that's really the maintenance on this, is there's not a lot of maintenance. It's very easy. And if you could do those things, you'll be great. Um, if you do step up and, and build yourself a moderator hopper, you will get quite a bit of condensation here, so definitely drain this daily. So this and the cooler our priority. And other than that, use it, love it, and uh, enjoy fuel freedom.